Hi everyone, my name is Katleo Matlo and today I will be presenting to you one of our, our projects from AOK which is known as the Advanced or Body Knowledge and the project is a work package from uh, 4.4 which is about ground penetrating radar. And before we can go further I would like to tell you what is um, AOK program and what is fo focused on. And the AOK program is in its intent, its main intent is to create a glass rock environment where we want to see far ahead of excavation, where we could be able to identify ways the reef and also to be able to tell the grade of our, our reef and also to, to map out the structures which are impeding extraction and most importantly to achieve zero harm. And on this project, we have collaborated with CSIR, where the project is led by Mr. Tawan Harume, along with the Bet University, in order to identify a non-destructive technology to map out the structures in the skin of excavations. And the main reason why we created this, pro uh, this project is because of, firstly, in South Africa, since 2007, there has been a decrease in fatalities from our mine up until uh, 2020. Even though it has been decreasing throughout the years, we know that one, one is a lot. And if, even if we also look at only last year only, the amount of injuries, injuries within our mining sector has been 1,444. And about 70% of that come from fall of ground, which is one of the main factors of uh, injuries and fatalities in our minds. And looking at, and at this year only, we have about 282 injuries in our mind. And in terms of fatality, about 50% of that uh, were caused by fall of ground. So we looked at that and we, we looked into understanding uh, the need which was to understand the, the fractures, the structures, and anything which can cause um, instability within our excavation. And the solution was to find a non-destructive technology or method to map out <coughs> those structures within our hanging wall to kind of mitigate the fall of ground uh, issue. And one of the technology we identified was the GPR scanner. So the GPR scanner comprises of a box which has an antenna which has the transmit, transmitter and a receiver antenna and it has a, a DVL which is known as the control unit and it has the battery power which is to power the, the control unit. And this, this technology, the GPR, uses what we call a radar. Radar is known as radio detection and ranging, and ranging where it uses radio waves to kind of uh, to map out our, our surface. So the transmitter sends out a radio wave with go through different rock layers and where there is uh, a change in the energy or a change in terms of like uh, the, the rock type and the contacts and the, all the structures, the waves bounce back into the receiver where it, it gets uh, mapped out. And before we go into the mine uh, to underground and we we want to do our survey, we have, firstly have to do what we call a survey grid. A survey grid, it's a plan of how we're going to map out our hanging wall. So firstly, what is, what is important for our survey grid is to know the dimensions of our survey grid, which will be helpful to create our model. And we also need to know our scanning direction. Which direction are we scanning our, our, our hanging wall so that we can put it together at the end. And also another thing, an important factor is that having a constant speed while scanning the wall so that we don't lose too much data while scanning and the frequency we use. The frequency tells us the depth we mapping into the hanging wall. As and when we go, when we finally go into the underground and start mapping the hanging wall, we, we start to do markings on the hanging wall where we do our tapes and we start using uh, uh, spray paint, where we start using spray paint to map out our grid into the hanging wall and we start to use the GPR. Here on the picture we have, at the bottom we have uh, two old P 
pictures which shows us the the scanning or or we can say like during the survey where we scan the hang wall and we follow the the survey lines at a constant speed and also making sure that we don't miss any data while collecting that and from that from the gpr the the data we get is what we call a radar gram so a radar gram has is a two-dimensional picture where it has your length and your depth. So in other words, the, the length you've been traveling through the survey line and the depth into how deep uh, the waves have been traveling within our hanging wall. So here we have uh, pictures where it shows the structures where the waves have, have changed in terms of like it encountered something like a fault or encountered something like a contact where it bounced back and we can, with a trained eye, we can be able to see those structures and try to map them out and, and, and uh, create a model from that. Yes. And from that, those, those pictures, we have like your X and Y directions and those radiograms, we kind of impose them together in a like, uh, sorry. We, we put them together in a more like a X, Y, uh, in an X, Y direction to kind of like to view our structures in a, in a 3D manner where we can follow it. And from that, we can measure the deep, the deep of our structures and also the, the direction and how we can also try to support the structure. And from those radiograms, while we put them together, we can stack them together to create a 3D model where we can play around with it and move it around and see the structures, how they behave and how they are. And from there, we can be able to see how we can support it or what, what more can be done with, with the structures to prevent fall of ground from happening. And from, um, our, from our project, the conclusion we reach is that the GPR scan does provide an effective method in investigating the stability of the excavation and most particularly the hanging wall to mitigate the, the risk of FOGs, which is the fall of ground. And we also think uh, if we can be able to combine our GPR scans along with thermography, electric resistivity tomography and seismic attribute, we can be able to enhance the data and able to see it uh, in, in high quality and be able to make better decisions to support the hanging wall and in for in the future what we going forward what we want to do we want to be able to integrate our gpr scans into a cat model or a mining plan where we can be able to visualize the structures in the whole mine to see where to avoid uh, mining or what to do in the future and also what we want to do, we want to be able to transfer data, real-time data to the decision makers. So in other words, while a surveyor is busy surveying the, the hanging wall with the GPR scan, we want the data to be able to be, uh, to be transmitted straight into the computer of a decision maker where we can have like real-time scans of the GPR. And thank you.